What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power we'll Play with CJ. I figured I'd dish on this. A couple days old, but you know, definitely still something that bears mentioning. Uh, Bill Simmons, one of my role models, uh, will be leaving ESPN, and uh, something that the writing was on the wall for a while. If you actually follow BS, um, you know, definitely a less than ideal set of circumstances. Bill has, uh, you know, I'm not gonna call him an egomaniac, but he, he's definitely uh, pretty into himself, and I, I think, I, you know, I borrow a lot of those things from him, and that he, he really wants autonomy, and, you know, to call some shots, and I think that's the beauty of running Grantland out of ESPN's LA offices, he doesn't have to talk heads in Bristol being a pain in the ass the whole freaking time, and that's a big reason why, you know, I've admired his work, and I, I admired his work, you know, for, say, going back to when I was in high school, probably 2006, 2007, you know, and I was old enough to really get into that you know, kind of material, and uh, one of my all-time favorite columns is, you know, right after the Bruins traded Jason Allen, so he was writing for ESPN2, uh, that he was done with the Bruins and the NHL, and I was made, he's a bandwagon Kings fan now, but, you know, you, you catch my drift with that, you know, really just a very, very well-written article that articulated, you know, the, the point of view of many middle-class hockey fans, middle-class Bruins fans like myself, uh, you know, in that period of time between, you know, 2000, 2007, 2008, and then when they got good again, you know, well, the ticket prices fell, and they, they went back up when they got good again in 2008. But either way, you know, you look at the way he did things, and I didn't set out to be Bill Simmons. Um, you know, I, I, I'm following the Simmons slash Katie Nolan path to success. Just get a college degree, work at a bar in Boston, and talk sports and whatever else tickles your fancy, um, you know, on the Internet. I'm, I'm doing it my way, but, you know, definitely following the – parameters that they put in place for people like me to uh, to to make it happen, you know? Simmons opened a lot of doors in his writing and, and in his approach to journalism. Um, and, you know, I can tell you from my experience, you know, when I was in Sweden last month, first time as credential media, there are a lot of great people in the media. They just, they don't think the way I think on a lot of things. And, you know, that's, that's not a bad thing. You know, if everyone thought like me, the world would be screwed. Uh, but... You know, and I think a guy like Simmons, the old guard, was always scared shitless of, you know, doing it differently, doing it his way. And, uh, you know, I've tried to follow that recipe here at the power play. And, you know, it's worked a little bit. hasn't worked in some regards. But, you know, him doing this and going rogue is just a testament to the personality he has inside and outside of his columns. Um, you know, and I, I got a little bit of I got my I got my video podcast. I got my written columns on rant. And I got my bar job. My two bar jobs right now. And, uh, you know, I think it's, you know, maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't, but, you know, I don't want to fetch coffees for, you know, real media people and, you know, report on high school volleyball, you know, <laughs> for 200 bucks a week. You know, I, I'm kind of making it happen on my own, on my own way, whether or not, whether or not the end result is what I want it to be, you know, remains to be seen. But, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful for Simmons doing his thing. Uh, and that, in, in that, allowing me to do my thing, and uh, you know, hopefully, some uh, great thing for Bell comes out of this. You know, where he's put in a situation where he can be, you know, have autonomy, and uh, you know, be able to call the shots, and you know, use his creativity in a manner which that's beneficial to both his work and the rest of the you know network wherever he's working. I personally would love to see him and you know, team up on Fox Sports One. That'd be awesome. You know, and really bring that network to. The next level. You know, hopefully, uh, I'll be joining them in the two days in future. Anyway, that's all I got some sort of the power play with CJ on Bill Simmons' departure from ESPN and uh, how it pertains to the power play. See you in more episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.